I'll speak with the man who plays him, tenor Joseph Kalea. But first, we'll meet our Olympia, Kathleen Kim. Kathleen, I'm delighted to see that you are still in one piece, and brava! How are you feeling? Great, great. Yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> Kathleen, this is your first time singing the role of Olympia. Yes. How do you keep your movement so precise and doll-like while you're singing this incredible coloratura? Well. It's not easy. I'm sure it's <laughs> Especially not on the break right. to stage like this. Yeah, that's true. But, we uh, an angle. Yeah, but I need full concentration. And I practiced a lot in front of mirror. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, but somehow with the movements, I find the singing easier. But I have to make sure that my body doesn't get stiff. But I'm, I'm That's right. I wondered if maybe yeah. it was a little bit helpful sometimes when you're sort of yeah, actually, like this for the high yeah, notes. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, you get to sing some more dazzling coloratura at the Met later this season in one of my operas, uh -huh. Ariadne of Naxos. <laughs> you must be looking forward to playing a live woman. I'm very much looking forward to that. Now, will this be your first Cervinetta yeah, as well? It is. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm very excited. It's a very big season and of debuts for yes. you. <laughs> I mean, the more I get to know the character, it's just fascinating. I'm just falling in love with her, and she's so brilliant, she's so smart, and yeah, I'm very looking forward to well, that. Well, I wish you all the best. It's Thank a great you. role, and I'm sure you'll have a wonderful time. And look Thank who's you. joined us. Hello. Here is our Hoffman, <laughs> Joseph Galea. Hi, Joseph. How are you, Deborah? I'm very well, thank you. Joseph, Hoffman is one of the pinnacles of the tenor repertoire. How does it feel to be singing this role for the first time at the Met? Um, nerve-wracking. <laughs> I'm sure it is. But it's said I'm beautiful, because the Met has the best, um, one of the best teams, if not the best, of... Um, Coaches, um, conductors, music staff, and uh, friend language coaches. So it's a great place yeah. to have because you learn it immediately well. And they, and they do everything to make your performance the best that it could possibly be. They, they are wonderful. Now, what made you decide, yes, I want to sing this role, this is the right time for this role? I think it's um, the opportunity um, was there and I took it and um, it went very well and I'm, I'm very happy about it. And um, my voice is very well suited to French repertoire. Yes. And, um, now all I have to do is continue expanding it and do like things like Manon, Werther, etc. Right. What are the greatest challenges of this role for you? Is it the hardest role that you sing, do you think? It's the biggest role I've sung. Mm -hmm. it's, I think it's the biggest role in the lyric repertoire. Mm -hmm. And it's um, three words. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Stamina, stamina. needs some good shoes. Your um, director is Bart Shear, who also directed the Mets, Barbara Seville. What's it like to collaborate with him? How did he help you both develop your characters? Kathleen? Well, he has great sense of humor and it, it's been so much fun for me and well, you won't look like you're having a lot of fun <laughs> yeah. do you help you out a lot yeah. I, mean, he, I mean he's, he's amazing he's a very um, instinctive person he um, he he has a, um, a gift that he immediately figures out what the artist has to give and, and he helps bring it out rather yeah, than suppress it very very, very collaborative i mean it was a big honor for me to collaborate mm -hmm. with him that's great. For both of you, this is your first time doing an opera with Maestro Levine. What have you learned from him about this opera and your roles in particular? Well, um, you know, I think, I mean, it's, it's just magic. Whenever he raises his hands, I suddenly become like a better singer. It's just singing comes it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, so easy and, and I mean, great, yeah. Joseph? One of the reasons yeah. I accepted this was because uh, Maestro Levine was yeah. on the podium. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I, I grew up listening to his recordings with all the greatest stars in the world, and it's surreal that at this age that, that I'm here and doing this with him for the first time. It's, it's wonderful. Well, thank you so very much for talking to us. Thank you. Yeah. Two figures accompany Hoffman in each act of the Comte Hoffman. His side, Kikni Klaus, who also happens to be his muse, and four incarnations of the devil. We're going to speak with the two artists portraying these characters, Kate Lindsay and Alan Held. Hi, Kate. Hi, nice Alan. You. Well done, both of you. Really Thank fabulous. You. You're both on stage for nearly the whole opera. Tell me about the stamina and mental focus that that takes, Kate. Um, I would put it to three words, meat and potatoes. I eat a lot of those before the show, and that helps me get through it, seriously. It's a good excuse to bulk up. I know. <laughs> well, it's important to stay hydrated through a long day like this. I mean, yeah. this is three and a half, four hours long. We start preparing long before we even come to the theater, and we start drinking as soon as we get up. And this is seven hours earlier than we're used to performing. Yeah, yeah the so matinees can be a little difficult. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Kate, your director, Bart Shear, has said that he thinks of your character in terms of the androgynous roles Marlena Dietrich once played in film. Mm -hmm. What's it like to play both a man and a woman in one opera? Well, I have to say, I think the costume design has really helped in this case. I think the costumes wear me more <laughs> than I wear them sometimes. I, I really sort of, it, it, it all comes down to how I feel and what I'm wearing, and, um, and so I, I sort of go from there. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's but Marlena Dietrich has been a, a big influence in, in sort of how I move and, and what I'm thinking about 
And I've it shows. It's really at, yeah. Really looked at several YouTube clips of her. So <laughs> what would we do without YouTube? Right? Of amazing. course, we like her first costume the best. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Alan, uh, do you view your villains as four different characters or as one person taking on different disguises? And do you try to bring out the differences or emphasize the similarities between them? Well, every production's different, and this is my tenth production of Hoffman. Oh my and so you try to find different ways to portray these villains each time, and how it works with the director's concept. Uh -huh. In this uh, concept is more of a nightmare in uh, Hoffman's mind each time. And I think he's seeing the same consular Lindorf throughout all of the villains. And so we're playing a lot of the same. I don't have costume, I mean, well, I have costume changes, but nothing major, right. but no wig and makeup changes, anything like that. Well, that makes the job a bit more challenging for you Absolutely. as an artist. Absolutely. Kate, your roles in this opera are ambiguous. Mm -hmm. As Hoff, Are you Hoffman, Hoffman's friend? It's not entirely clear if you're trying to help him or hurt his love life. Well, the way I see it is sometimes we're standing at the edge of a cliff, and who better than to give us a little nudge than somebody who's very close to us. And I think that that's really what I'm there to do. I think in order for him to sort of reach his most sublime state of artistry, I have to be there to push him to his, to his extremes. Wow. And uh, I think that's really where, where my function is in this case. Well, we're really enjoying your performance. Thanks so much for joining us, and toy toy for the rest. Thank you.